Hi, welcome to this video based on uh, OCR Computing A Level uh, F452. This one is just a short, quick video to help define and understand the few of the terms that we find in programming. Uh, first one we're going to look at is what a variable is. So here's a simple program. Um, it doesn't really matter at this stage if you don't understand what it's for or what it does. Uh, I'll just run it to show you. Basically, we've got a shopkeeper has three shelves to display bread to customers. Each shelf can hold 10 loaves, but the shopkeeper receives a daily delivery of about 35 loaves. Use the modulus operator, create an algorithm that works out how many loaves will be left once the shopkeeper fills the shelves. So they will know how many loaves they've got left over after they fill the shelves. Uh, so if we just run this, I'm obviously doing this in C++, but sorry, in uh, yeah, C++ in on my Mac but the principle will be the same for whatever programming language you're doing. Well, how many loaves do you have? So say we've got 33 loaves. It tells me that I'm using three shelves and I have three loaves left over. Okay, so simple program. There's a variety of other things this program does, uh, but we won't worry about that too much at the moment. Um, right, so firstly, let's quickly think about what a variable is. So we need a variable to run this program, and we've got one here. Okay, uh, we've got one here. And basically what a variable is, if you look, it's here and we're saying it's equal to zero. But further down, we are inputting the variable uh, to give it a number. So that means the user is inputting data for this variable to change. Um, and essentially that's what it is. A variable is a value that can change in your program. Um, it's associated with a location in the memory and it will hold different values. Okay, so during the running of the program, the variable can change. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is what a constant is. Now, this should be quite obvious. Uh, a constant is something that stays the same. Uh, so in this program, what we've got here is something we've declared at the start, a constant, in C++ you declare it with the word const, called shelves, as we know in the program. In the problem we have three shells up here so I've actually declared a constant at the start uh, and initialized it or signed it with the value of three uh, so that's consistent and goes through all the app throughout the program so here we've got shelves is three shelves is three shelves there will be three as well now I wouldn't have to do it in this way we'll talk about that later um, equally it could have been a constant if I had just written three here it would have been a constant here we have a string constant because this never changes. It is not declared at the start, but it still never changes. It is a C out, which is an output of how many loads you have as a question. Whenever I run the program, that will always occur. That won't change and have anything else in it. So that is a string constant. We have various other string constants. Um, this one is a concatenation. Um, if you're not sure what that is, then watch another video based on concatenation. This is a concatenation, so we have a constant here. We then have a variable here, and then we have a constant here again. So uh, that's generally what a constant is, is something that doesn't change in your program. So we have two examples, this one being the main one that's declared at the start. Right, the next thing I want to just quickly mention, and it should be obvious what this is, is the identifier, what an identifier is. Well, an identifier is whatever you give the name of um, a variety of different things. So we've got a name of a variable, that's the identifier of the variable, number of loaves there. We've got a name of a constant, that's shelves, that's an identifier for a constant called shelves. We could have identifiers for other things like functions um, and procedures and things like that. So simply, an identifier is what name you've given to uh, certain things in the program. The final thing I want to mention are reserve words or keywords. Now, that's a reserve word, const, because it's declaring a constant. Int is a keyword because we're declaring it with a data type of integer. C out in C++ is a way to output. Uh, so that also is a keyword or reserve word. The thing with a keyword or reserve word to bear in mind is you cannot have a variable or an identifier of an uh, of something like a constant or procedure or variable using the same name as a reserved word you can't have it with the same with an identifier of a reserved word so we could not declare a constant with for example c out that wouldn't work all right that wouldn't be allowed because c out is already a reserved word in 
C++. So that wouldn't work as a program um, using a identifier with a reserved or keyword. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, feel free to come back for more. There'll be more videos uh, around various other things based around the OCR computing course. Thank you.